Good morning, Axial Scale Builders around the world. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman. You're now watching Scale Wars, Axial's official Battle of the Builders. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great start to your morning. Hope the uh, Hope you got the sleep out the eyes, all that good stuff. It's early, super early. And today is actually my wife's birthday, so uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not answering comments right away. I'm probably not gonna be around for most of the day, possibly the weekend, so. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited for today's episode. We're just gonna jump right on into it. I've got three amazing builds today. Um, one of them is actually from a repeat offender. Actually, we have two repeat offenders today so uh two repeat offenders and a new um i guess a, a new offender <laughs> so anyway it's gonna be a cool episode uh, let's look at these trucks man let's see you guys on the battleground all right you guys welcome back to the scale wars battleground we've got a pretty sick mog here let's just go ahead and dive into this thing uh this submission comes to us from a young man named jelly doferhoff jelly J-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So uh, I'm, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. You guys know me. I can't say a name to save my life. But uh, Jele is how I'm going to go ahead and say that today. Uh, he is all the way from South Holland in the Netherlands, which is pretty cool, man. I love to see that, that folks that aren't even in my country, folks that are basically on the other side of the world, are watching this show, tuning in, uh, participating, and getting in on this lifestyle. I just love to see how big this is. It's a worldwide thing. It's not just, you know, extreme scale performance. It's just axial is worldwide. You guys, you can literally take your axial truck almost anywhere in the world and find somebody to trail with now. That's pretty cool. Um, so he is 16 years of age. He's a young buck, and he has been subscribed to extreme scale performance for two years now. So, Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Jelly. That's a that's a long time to be subscribed and supporting one channel. I, I do appreciate that, man. Um, let's see. He started building his RCs back in 2011. So that's just quite a while. It's like six years, man. That's a while. And this particular project, it's a Axial SEX-10. Um, let's see. He says... Oh, what do you got? Axial SEX-10 Unimog, and he calls it the Turtle. That's what I was looking for was the name. He calls it the Turtle. He says it has a gear ratio of 120 to 1. Whoa, so that's a good name for it, man, the Turtle. And uh, I think I got a couple builds running that same ratio. And he says it's built for super low crawl, and I agree 120 to 1 will slow that right down. I bet you've got torque for days. That thing probably just creeps through the rocks. Um... What do we got for detailed parts here? So for his parts list, I'm just going to rattle this off for you guys kind of quick because you got quite a bit here. Uh, he's got a Unimog 406 hard body from Loose RC, steel bumper from Asia Tees, uh, let's see, SSD D-hole steel bead locks, Pitbull 1.9 Mad Beast tires, Holmes Hobby Puller Pro Stubby 3300 KV, Holmes Hobby BLE Pro ESC, uh, good choice on the electronics, high tech uh, 5646 waterproof servo, uh, axial LED controller, Castle BEC, axial icon shocks front and rear, axial underdrive gears front and rear, Holmes Hobby Torque Master spool front and rear, RC four wheel drive CMS kit, RC four wheel drive CVD shafts, RC four wheel drive rock crawler links front and oh that's just up front axial links in the back uh custom made sway bar in the rear full custom made aluminum bed and custom steel roll, roll bar and rear bumper tire carrier man that was like a tongue twister um handmade interior with working steering wheel um and this is what i was curious about was the transmission because i was kind of flipping through the pictures and i noticed it wasn't the normal setup um he's got an energy one fourteenth scale transmission and he used it now before you guys flip out on me here is it he says he used the stock axial ax10 tranny as a transfer case like your anti-spur setup um so if you guys are new to this channel i have been known for running the setup that i call the esp anti-spur and it's basically uh, just a way that i modify the axial transmissions to work 
kind of like a transfer case, and then you add a divorced gear reduction unit, and uh, you do it all basically using the parts out of the kit for the for the most part. Um, and it essentially does two things: it gears it down quite a bit usually. Um, it eliminates the spur gear in the process, but then it also uh, it it basically cleans up everything around the transmission and removes a lot of the bulk there and allows you to have a lot more room for an interior so um, and it's still legal for axial fest and scale wars if you do it that way so uh, just pretty cool setup and it's nice to see that you guys are using the things that I use um, on the show I mean because I, n- I never tell people that it's the best way or the right way or anything like that I just tell people it's the way I do stuff and when you guys pick up on it and you actually like it that's pretty cool man that, that makes me feel good so Awesome. Cool to see that you're using that. Uh, hope that hope that it's working out good for you. I mean, it's a Unimog, so it should be geared low. So I like that. Um, let's see. What else you got here? Axial steel transmission gears, Junefac drive shafts, uh, race seats, HT's Crate wheel wideners. Uh, and he says, it took a year to build, and I saved all the money for it by myself. Um, and he says, well, that's awesome, man. I like to hear that. This it's not like, uh, you know, there's a lot of folks that, you know, are fortunate and they have parents that can buy them a lot of stuff. But, you know, even if your parents can buy you stuff, it doesn't mean you can't get out and work for something. And I really like to see it when you guys are, you're, you're willing to get your hands dirty so that you can go play. You know, you work hard, you play hard. And uh, it's a lesson that I hope a lot of you guys learn at a young age, uh, at least for the youngsters that are out there watching this. Don't be don't be scared to get your hands dirty. Don't be scared to do a little work. You know that's how you you see these people with nice things. That's how they get it. Well, <laughs> at least some of them. Uh, and anyways, all right. So what's he got here? Axial high steer uh, knuckles, boom racing C hubs, and boom racing lockouts. Driver figures are coming soon. And he classifies this as a trail truck. Um, rates his own build on a scale of one to ten. He rates it a nine. Ooh. Ooh, is that right? Yeah, he rates it a 9. That's that's up there, man. That's up there. That doesn't leave you much room for improvement. Um, And what do I... Oh, my stuff's cut off here. Let me see what else I got. Oh, and as far as who he would like to give a shout-out to, he would like to give a shout-out to his dad for getting him into this hobby. So, shout-out to Jelly Doferhoff's dad, Mr. Doferhoff. Um, It's great to see that you got your son into this with you, man. I hope to do the same thing with my son someday. So, all right. Now, enough of going through the specs and the details and the parts and all that. Let's get a good look at this thing, man. Uh, While I was talking, I'm sure you guys got to look this over plenty. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Um, Initial impression. You know, what do you guys think of initial impression on this Unimog? For me personally... It's definitely got a European feel to it. it. You know, obviously it's a Mercedes Unimog, but we have those in the States too. So, But it's definitely got a European feel to it, just the way it's set up. The tires seem a little big. Um, the bed and the cab definitely aren't lined up. But initial impression, I think it looks aggressive. I think it looks mean. I think it's definitely something that's built to do a job. It's not something that was built to look pretty or sit on a shelf or to pack around and brag about how you know cool of a uh, whatever part or accessory it's got slapped on it i think that this thing was meant to show what it can do uh more or less and i'm digging it man the tires uh yeah they work I was going to say they're probably not my first choice for a unimog but they work they look pretty good actually and it looks like they get worked too um digging it man i like the scale accessories you didn't go overboard but you definitely got some stuff in there i am gonna assume that your battery is in this box right here in your electronics if not i don't know where your battery's at (laughs) i've been sitting here trying to figure that out um wheels and tires look great love the hubs you have on here that's cool um i'm digging the spare tire carrier and the rear stinger that's pretty cool would be awesome if you had a match in front oh maybe you do maybe you do let's go through some pictures all right next picture um i guess that's not really a stinger stinger up front but it's something there uh looks good i like it it's cool i like all the green it's real simple you went through it looks like you painted up your grill or your emblems here uh, D rings flipped up, but I'm sure that's just you didn't notice for the picture. Yeah, you could use a winch too for sure. Definitely could use a winch. Um, 
I like how you only put one light up here though. That's so different. Like everybody always is so symmetrical. They've always got to have two. That's pretty cool that you only put one. Um, it, it reminds me of the yellow Jeep. How I got the guy in the back just holding the one light, the little spotlight. That's cool. I like that. And I also like that you use military time. I don't personally, but I got a lot of military friends. I'm sure they could appreciate that. Uh, let's keep it going here. Yeah, and see, that's what I was saying earlier about how the bed and the cab aren't lined up right. Um, you can see the angle here. You see the angle coming down, and then you look at the angle here going up. So it's like it, it comes to a V in the center here. So I would work on getting that adjusted a little bit maybe. Um, I think I see why you did it. You know, you you want to keep the roll bar above the seats and all that. If you push this up, then that's going to lift. It's not going to look right. Maybe raise the bed. Oh, excuse me. Already on. Maybe raise the bed just a little bit. Might help. Eh, yeah, it might help a little bit. Um, but overall, I think that's a pretty cool looking rig. I dig that you kind of just left it all open like this. It's totally against what most people would do. But it looks good. I like that you painted your uh, screws as well. All your hardware is painted to match. It's a good look. It's a good look. Um, it's brake discs would be cool. You guys know I love them brakes. I like to see brakes. It just adds. I just like to see the axle porn, and that's, I count that kind of as axle porn. Um, nice set layout here. It looks like a custom interior. I'm gonna assume you built this all out of styrene. Looks pretty good. Uh, I wonder, did you build these gauges or are these out of something? I think he mentioned it in the, uh, yeah, I'm trying to read it. I don't see it anywhere, but I think he mentioned it possibly. Um, yeah, I think, isn't that RC four wheel drive makes those? I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I like it. It looks good. Got the uh, axial shifters in there. I'm pretty sure those are out of the axial Wraith or bomber setup or something. Yeah, dude, this is a cool rig. This is a really cool rig. It's definitely looking good. Simple, effective. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like that axial sticker on there. The back is just looking like it means business. <laughs> Curious how good those shocks work like that. Uh, I've seen a few people run them like that. Especially in the Toyota trucks. Um... Ooh, Phillips screw. I don't like Phillips screws. That's not going to hurt your score or anything, but I just don't like Phillips screws. <laughs> I like it, man. It looks good. You did a good job. Uh, maybe get a match and spare in there. I, that looks like a Max's tire. Yeah, it is. It's Trepador. Um, Icon shocks are looking good. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to go over. This is a real simple rig, man. But you did a good job. I mean, all the basic stuff is there that I'd be looking for for a scale rig for the most part, you know, especially one that looks like it does truck trials or, or competitions. Now, and you can see here, go back to this, you see his diamond plate piece here. That's probably to hold his electronics. I'm assuming his ESC or receiver is on that. And then I can see here some stuff. He's got some custom cross member stuff going on and everything. And then you look right here, that looks like a gear reduction unit. I'm, not sure which one. I know he said it, but I don't remember. Oh, oh, he's yawning this morning. All right. But uh, that gear reduction unit is set up in an anti spur layout. And right here, he's probably got his transmission. Um, and then you can see that there's two drive shafts. There's one here that goes to the axle, and then one here that goes to the gear reduction unit. And they both meet up in the middle at the uh, transfer case. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Good job. Tires are looking nice. Good shot of the tires. The whole rig looks nice. That's a good picture right there. I like that. Yeah, you can really see that bed's misaligned. Just super misaligned right there. It looks like uh, maybe you rolled it a couple of times and hammering on this cage is pushing the body down maybe. Uh, just get that jacked back up, man. Get that lined up properly. It'll just really help the look of this thing. Oh, there he is. He is a young man. All right. He is. You, you look a little too clean to be playing truck. You need to go out and get dirty, man. 
<laughs> awesome. All right, all right. So this is Jelle Doferhoff. Thank you, young man. Give a shout out to your dad for us. Uh, we appreciate him getting you into this hobby. It's always nice to have the younger crowd getting in. You know, it's a lot of people just chalk RC up to being an old guy thing and, and something from the 80s and the 90s and just silly toys but really they're fun man this is this is a fun thing and it's for all ages it's for all walks of life it doesn't matter if you're you're you know you're uh, a housewife or you're a, a hard working construction guy or you're a office assistant or a, a, a clerk at a store it doesn't matter man it doesn't matter who you are a high school kid like this guy right here i mean anybody it doesn't matter you can all come out and run rc trucks that's that's the joy of running these axials man so anyways stoked now the next thing you got to do is convince your dad to bring you all the way over here to the states and attend axial fest <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, so on to our next build. You guys, be sure to leave Jelly some feedback in the comments. Let him know what you think of his Mercedes Unimog. Personally, I think it's pretty good, man. I, I wouldn't say it's a 9 out of 10, but I definitely say that you're off to a great start. I say that you put some serious time and effort into it. It is very unique. It is very, very um, scale-looking for the most part. You've got a really just... I don't know, a cool vibe to it. It's almost like uh, somebody took an old military rig and converted it to their truck, you know, for running trials and, and off-road competitions. So it's definitely cool. I like it. Get that winch on there. Get that body lined up. Get some drivers in there soon, like you said. Um, other than that, I like it, man. Well done. And I really want to know where your battery is. Let me know in the comments. Where is your battery hidden at? All right. On to our next build. <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome back. This is our second contestant today. Uh, pretty stoked. He's actually a repeat offender. And this is, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit on this here. This is a good looking rig. Very nice setup in that trailer. Ooh wee. Looking good. Looking good. Alright, so let's just go ahead and dive into it. Uh, this gentleman's name, and I got it, I, I don't remember if I got it wrong or right last time, but it is, it's Heike, H-E-I-K-K-I, Pitalinen. Uh, I believe it's Heike, Heike. Peter Lanen is how you say that. That's what I'm thinking it is. And um, I, I, <laughs> I struggled with it last time too. He's 46 years of age and he is submitting this build to us from U Usima, Finland. Uh, yeah, I can never get this stuff right, but I'm trying. It's, it's U Usima is U-U-S-I-M-A-A, -A, Finland. So all the way from Finland, this guy is definitely a long ways away from where I'm at. So once again, nice to see you guys all around the world, different parts of the world, getting involved here with Scale Wars. Um, he's 46 years of age. I think I might have already said that. Uh, and he's been subscribed to ESP oh, for zero. He put a zero. So I don't know. I think he put a zero on the last one too. So does that mean that you still haven't subscribed or did you just fill these both out at the same time? Um, you better subscribe. I put you on the show twice. <laughs> uh, all right. So he's got, let's, let's see, what's he got? He started building in 2013. That's what I was looking for. I got lost in my, in my notes here. Uh, he started building RCs in 2013 and this particular project, um, doesn't have a name for it. He just says it's an SCX 10 Jeep Wrangler unlimited Rubicon RTR. So it just is what it is. Uh, now as far as the detailed parts list go, I'm just going to rattle this off real quick. Uh, he, oh man, he's got a bunch of stuff on here. He's got the, well, it's SEX 10 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon RTR. Uh, 2012 Jeep Rubicon. Oh, he's got the, he listed the body, everything. Okay. Um, you guys just got to put your upgrades. You don't have to put all the parts that came with it. Uh, as far as the colors, he says he's got metallic pearl green um from ultimate they're all ultimate racing colors so ultimate racing colors metallic pearl green metallic silver and metallic basic orange he's got absima fire extinguisher proline high lift jack uh, revel enamel paint 04 white 07 black 08 matte black and a 330 fiery red um, he has ax10 scorpion universal set he's got axial high clearance knuckles he's got ck heavy axle tubes for axial ax10 scx10 he's got 
uh, Absima Servo. It's uh, ACS 1614 SG Combat Series. He's got the AX30. Oh, okay. I'm not going to read all that. He's got the aluminum servo horn. He's got the uh, 1.9 8-hole beadlocks in black. He's got 1.9 beadlock rings in orange. He's got um, 1.9 Maxxis Trepidor tires, RC4 wheel drive, Vituro trail blade, uh, MT 1.9 scale tire. That must be for his spare. Yep. And then... Oh, where is it? RC four wheel drive Raceline Monster 1.9 beadlock wheels. Um, he's got Icon shock set. He's got simple LED controller with LED lights, four white and two red. Team Energy alloy rooftop spotlight set. Um, axial LED lens set, yellow and clear. Battery tray uh, for the front with a 1.5 millimeter. Oh, it's, it's a 1.5 millimeter aluminum battery tray. Uh, he's got rear lights, uh, custom license plates. He's got custom steering links, custom lower links, uh, custom skid plate, custom rock rails, and custom soft top, uh, black awning fabric, and clear plastic, basically. And Velcro WWE Basic Series John Cena and some fabric. So that's how he did all that. Um, this build classification, he classifies it as a trail truck, I believe. Right, right, right. I'm not sure. He has it listed as a crawler. And then, um, sorry guys, I'm losing my spot here. Oh, okay, there he is. Uh, so on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates it an 8. And as far as who we'd like to give a shout-out to, he didn't really put anybody. He just put greetings. So, all right. So now that I've mumbled my way through that, <laughs> let's look at this. What D-rings are those? Those look cool. I'm wondering what those are from. Um, this thing looks great. I mean, as far as this, you know, Lexan scale body stuff goes, this is amazing. This looks awesome, man. Just, just little touches really brought this to life. A lot of you guys have this exact same body out there, you know. I've seen this body all over the place. And it, a lot of people don't do this good of a job uh, with that factory Jeep body. So, looking great, man. Uh, first impression, super scale. Um, it's still a Lexan body, so obviously it's not going to have that extra dimension to it. You know, you're not going to see, like, the separation and panels and you know, things like that, but still, for Alexia body, this is looking good. Whew. A big part of it, I want to say, is the little details. He's got the license plate, but then he's got the hardware in the license plate. He's got scale hardware on his spare. Um, he's got the, well, the little spinny thing that goes in in the spare, I forget what that's called. Um, he's got the hubs on here. He's got the Maxxis, um, logo is painted white i don't know if it comes like that or not but uh it's pretty cool that it's, it's white he's got you know the orange rings you know that was a smart move um just a bunch of little things you know the the soft top with all the stitching got the actual plastic back window and it. it's just so many little things look great on here uh let's let's keep going i want to see what the rest of these look like there's a good shot of the top obviously those suck i cannot stand cannot stand body pins especially on something like this because you had the opportunity to not put them there you didn't have to use them so um at least cover them up get a high lift jack on there or something just to cover them up uh other than that though it's looking pretty good from the top man it's looking pretty good notice there's no winch too you know i mean i guess you don't always need one but Would definitely be nice to see a winch on here and i don't know if it's just me but is this just a beautiful picture or what the coloring on that must have been sunset just beautiful love the lighting yeah you see the icon shocks lighting up in there just looks great now you got a little gap back here you can see through to the other side um maybe put something in there would look good you know i don't i don't know maybe like a scale fuel tank or something like that um let's keep going his interior shot, got the John Cena guy in there. He's got him all covered up so he doesn't look like a huge meathead at least. That's pretty cool. Um, looking good, just super clean. You know, I don't like these interiors. I prefer a three-dimensional interior. These interiors are 
Definitely not the half interior thing is definitely not my favorite. Uh, this looks pretty good though. Beautiful shots, man. Your photography game is on point for this. Oh, look at all them scratches. That's what I like to see. It's been getting used for sure. Now, is this are these custom skids? Yeah, they're custom skids. I like that. That's really cool. It looks like they're definitely getting their use. That's no joke. Huh. And so that you know, a lot of us guys that have been running axials for a long time have come to realize is plastic housings seem to perform better, but when you run plastic housings for long extended periods of time what happens is they wind up breaking down and eventually you'll have ring and pinion well mainly just ring gear starting to be exposed in the bottom of that so yeah that's a pretty good way to save your axle housings right there um looks good wire management's on point man uh, i'm not seeing nothing really for wires out of the place uh real simple i would recommend switching to deans i'm not a big fan of them to me and plugs um yeah, I guess that's all opinionated though. Looks good. Jeez, these photos are just killer. Poison Spider stickers looking real nice on there. I like the Poison Spider logo on the hood too. That was really cool. Yeah, it looks nice. It really looks nice. Just clean. There's your high lift jack. I'd put that right on the hood, man. Hide those. Uh, you can actually hook them up to it. Oh. Sorry for the yawning, guys. I can't stop today. You can actually hook those clips up to that high lift jack and then run it through there, and it'll totally hide that. Well, I mean, just a lot better. Beautiful. Really nice. That spare, I think, is actually nicer than the ones you're running. <laughs> Looks good. I'm curious about your D rings, too. Oh, those are off something else. I see they got clasp on them. Interesting. Oh, there he is. There, there's a the man. Uh, appreciate you submitting your build, and I hope to see you subscribe here soon. <laughs> All right, you guys. Don't want to spend too much time on this. I got one more we're going to get through today, and then uh, I got to get out of here. It's wife's birthday. So thank you very much, Heike. I really appreciate you uh, submitting your build, sir. And yeah, you're off to a great start. That looks really good. You guys, leave him some feedback in the comments. Let him know what you think. Me personally, I think it's a just probably one of the best looking Jeep Lexan bodies I've seen so far on the show. Um, it, it's got an awesome look to it. It's just one of the best ones I've seen, period. If you get a three-dimensional interior, get some wheel wells, uh, and hide those body clips, yeah, that's really all you need to do, brother. All right, on to the next one, on to the next one. All right, you guys, I'm pretty sure this is the one a lot of you are waiting for. This is our third and final build, and I'm pretty stoked to look at this one. This is a three-peat. That's right, a three-peat. This gentleman has submitted and been on the show. This will be his third time now. Third time, which is pretty, pretty impressive. Now, uh, what I'd like everybody to do is just go ahead and, and look this over while I'm going through his information here and give him some feedback in the comments. Uh, this gentleman does a lot for the scale community and that's one of the reasons why I was willing to put him on here three times in a row. The other reason is because he simply submitted three builds, man, and they're all killer. So, uh, shout out to him. Shout out to him. And who is him? Him is Elio DeAnda, the man. He is, he's an OG. He's an OG in the game, man. He's, he's he's one of the homies. I appreciate everything he does, and I, I know a lot of you guys do too. He whips these things up. I don't know where he gets the energy. He works like crazy. He's a full time tech, and he's just he's always going, man. So, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Elio. I think we could all learn a lot from this guy. Um, he is uh, from Roseville, California. He is. 50 years young and uh, he's been subscribed to ESP for one year now and he says uh, he started building RCs when he was 15 years old so you guys just go ahead and put that in perspective just take 50 years and minus 15 off of that yeah that's how long he's been building RC um, project name this one what's he called this project 10 10 to Z UK, ten to Zook, ten to ten. Ah, I get it. It's SCX ten two, 
Suzuki. Yeah, so it's a 10 2 Zook. It's a 1988 Samurai. Base is a 10 2 RTR. So, as far as the detail parts list, um, let's see. Stock Axial SCX 10 10.2 RTR. He says it's a uh, custom cage work. Boat sides, mini XO around the body, half flat interior, uh, getting away from body pins, so Velcro mounts, rock lights, and basic lights, custom exhaust, body is an old uh, Speedway PAL Samurai basic red paint. Um, let's see, my last, my last to build or my last two builds have been RTR 10.2s because they work right out of the box with no mods. So a killer platform to start with. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that one, brother. That's 100% truth. Um, now, build classification, he says, this is a trail truck. And uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates this one a 5. It's uh, right in the middle. So this is definitely, he doesn't think this is his best work is what he's getting at because he's got some other ones that I believe he rated quite a bit higher than that. So... Um, now, as far as who he'd like to give a shout out to, he would like to give a shout out to big shout out to Axial for always having cutting edge products. Yeah, awesome. He also says my awesome wife who puts up with me, lol, and most of all the scale community. So shout out to Elio's wife, uh, shout out to Axial, and shout out to all you guys, the scale community. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all he's got right now. So let's dig into this. Let's look at this thing, man. I'm, I want to get a good peek here. Uh, first thing I got to say is photography game, brother. This is an epic shot, dude. This looks killer. Um, I love the red. The red on red looks great, but there's a little too much red because all these wires. So the wire game is not on point. That is the one thing that's killing it for me right now. Would have loved it if you had some sort of inner fenders for the front at least something hiding those wires or had the wires tucked and hidden uh loved the uh matching or or i guess it's matching plates is what you call it or the you know the named plates the custom plates that's awesome the winch looks good up there the metal work is on point i'm liking the whole design of the stinger in the front it looks great the whole bumper system um yeah good choice on the tires I love me some swampers his little body is really cool. I saw it. I've been I followed this build on Facebook when he was doing it, and definitely cool. I think he built a couple of them actually. He built one for a, a young man too that was like I, I don't remember who it was, but he built one for a young guy too that he was trying to help out or get into this hobby or something. Uh, are these mismatched? Are those mismatched light pods? <laughs> they look like they're mismatched. Unless I'm tripping, maybe it's just the angle. Um, I like it overall. I think this looks killer. I love the hubs you have on here. Are awesome. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else for me to say, man. You just you knock this one out the park. Uh, let's go to the next picture. Ooh, look at the both side action, looking good. Um, nice short wheelbase in the back for sure. Look at how short those links are. What do we got down here? Wires. Oh, look. So the wires he's got. Uh, in heat shrink, so that looks awesome. The rear tail light wires are in heat shrink. See, I mean, you guys can see what I'm saying now. It's so much better than having just red and white wires hanging out there. Got an exhaust on there. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but look at the exhaust with the tip pointing out the side. Sick move. Um, what else are we missing on here? It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. Anything on this side? No, it's just so simple, man. It's it's a lot of this is really stock still, so awesome. Looks great. Next oh, coming with the scale shots. Look at that. Killer, killer shots, dude. Ah, oh, thing looks awesome on the trail. This is also one of his rigs, I believe. Uh, I think he calls that one the dog. Look at this. Another six scale shot in the garage with the exhaust poking out right there. Oh man. Buddy, you just you're doing good here. You're definitely doing good here. I like this a lot. Axial Fest 2015. Yeah. The stance is nice. 
I just really like this thing a lot, man. I would I would honestly buy this off of you. I'm not joking. I would probably just buy this off of you if I had the opportunity. <clears throat> I like it. I really do. The short wheelbase, everything. It's just really cool. Definitely looks like a, a trail rig. And this shot just reminds me of like King Hammers or something, nighttime. Looks great. The scale accessories in the back are looking good. I think those are all scaled by Chris. Um... I like it. I like this. How you got this uh, fabric material around the edges. Mm, maybe cut the. I, I don't know how you would feel about this, but I would cut this window out. I don't think on the real trail trucks. I don't think that would be up. You know, I don't. Even if there was a window, I don't think it would be. I don't. I don't think it'd be rolled up most of the time. Um. Yeah, man. It's just. Ugh. Another good shot. I really like it. There's like I'm trying to find things to complain about here, and the only thing I don't like is the Lexan body that you have on there because I mean you can see the paint's all chipped up on the top from underneath. Uh, it just looks kind of toyish, you know. But other than that, like if this was a Jeep body, oh my lord, I'd be in heaven. I love the underglow. The rock lights, that looks awesome. The metal work, the cage metal work looks killer. What's that? Two chain scalers. If you guys don't know what that is, that he is uh, one half of the two chain scalers group. They're, you know, like, I want to say they're like almost like a, uh, like mascots to the RC world, man. They just, it's, when you go to Axial Fest, if you don't see two chains, you did not get out enough. <laughs> These guys are everywhere at Axial Fest. All right, all right. So it's looking good, man. I don't really have a lot to say. You just killed it. I mean, it's, it really does look awesome. Great job, man. Um, you guys, leave them some feedback in the comments. My favorite part on this has got to be this exhaust right here, and then I really like the hub combination, just the mismatched hubs, it just looks awesome. And I really like the curvature on the back of the cage too, that looks really good. Oh, I just noticed he's got the scale speakers in there. Those are scale speakers hanging in the back. Awesome work, Elio, I really like this. All right, you guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Um, just, you know, leave the feedback. Let them know what you think. Oh, yeah, no disc brakes. I'd like to see some disc brakes, but leave them some feedback, man. Let them know what you think. Let everybody know what you think. You know, did, did you like their build? Did you not like it? Why? Um, be polite. Be nice about it. Don't be disrespectful. You guys know the rules. Just, I don't tolerate it. I don't want to have to moderate everybody. Um, just, yeah, yeah, leave some feedback. And if you want to submit your build, you think you can do a better job, or you just want to see your stuff on the show, uh, go to my website www.extremescaleperformance.com go over to the scale wars tab and scroll down you'll see all the rules you'll see the form you can fill out and uh, you can also keep track of the scores there so you can see what ilio and all the other guys today scored so yeah man thank you guys all for watching i'm gonna go spend the rest of the weekend with my wife and uh celebrate her birthday so you guys go on facebook leave my wife panaby opazo elliot leave her a happy birthday today i'm sure she would appreciate that uh, and on Instagram, she's on there at um, One Love Panaby, and uh, I don't remember them all. <laughs> it's at, at Panaby One Love. It's, it's she's got two of them on there. So, anyways, if you guys follow my wife, be sure to give her some love, show her some love. Uh, it's her birthday, and she's pregnant. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Be sure to submit your builds. Hope to see you guys on the next episode of Scale Wars, and yeah, you know what it is. Piece of cheese grease. I'm going to get up out of here.